All right, so this workshop is going to teach you how to use Desmos to help you uh, um, evaluate function notation. So we have our first function here, f of x equals 4x. And then these two parts, a and b, they're just saying they want us to evaluate the function when x equals 0 and when x equals negative 1. So this is like saying f of 0 and f of negative 1. And of course, we're just going to plug in 0 anywhere where we see an x. For this negative 1 down here, we're going to plug in a negative 1 anywhere where we see an x. So the 4 stays the same. The 4 is a constant. And there's a really easy way to do this using Desmos so that you don't have to do so much math. Um, first, you'll go to the Desmos scientific calculator. And I'm just going to plug in 4x. That's all I'm going to do right now because that's what my equation is. And make sure that your x is in parentheses. That's really important. So the first um, problem, the first question is asking us to evaluate when x equals 0. So instead of having an x, I'm just going to put in a 0. And then Desmos tells me what my answer is. My answer is 0, which is pretty simple. So equals zero. Now the second part is asking me to evaluate when x equals negative one. So now instead of having a zero in my parentheses, I'm just gonna put in a negative one. So I'm changing my number that's in the parentheses based on what the question is asking. And I get that the answer to this is negative four, which makes sense because four times negative one is negative 4. So the next two are a little more tricky, but they're not bad, especially since we have Desmos to help us. So uh, we have g of x equals x squared plus 1. So I'm coming back to Desmos, putting your x in parentheses, and then we'll square it by hitting this button here. Oops. And then plus one. Make sure that your plus one is small and that it's not up here with the two. Just hit the down arrow if it's up with the two. Okay, so this is my new equation. This is g of x, what g of x is telling me. And then it's asking me to evaluate when x equals three. So literally all I have to do is come in here and put a three in for x. And I get that my answer is 10. So g of 3 equals 10. And now my problem is asking me to find g of negative 2, or it's asking me to evaluate when x equals negative 2. So coming back to my equation, instead of a 3, I'm just going to change this to negative 2. And that gives me my answer of 5. All right, so the most important part right now, other than making sure that your x is in parentheses, is making sure that you're typing this equation into Desmos correctly. So I have 2x squared minus 2. Coming back to Desmos, 2, and then again, our x always goes in parentheses, squared minus 2. That is my equation. So all I did was take h of x and put it into Desmos. And now this is asking me to evaluate x at three different numbers. So I have x equals negative 2. So instead of having my x in parentheses, I'm going to put negative 2 in parentheses. And that gives me an answer of 6. All right, so now I'm ready to evaluate when x equals 0. So instead of having a negative 2 in the parentheses, I'm putting in a 0 because my question, my problem is now asking me to evaluate when x equals 0. And I get my answer is negative 2. And then my last problem is asking me to evaluate when x equals 3. So instead of a 0, I'm going to change that out with a 3. 
And then I get that my answer is 16. And that's it. It's super simple when we use Desmos to use function notation.